Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done for a very long time, and that is a get ready with me. As some of you know, I stopped wearing makeup back in 2016, and even though I have wanted to do more outfit-based get ready with me's since then, I just wasn't really comfortable with it. So today I will be pushing myself out of my comfort zone, in a few ways actually. So first of all, this video is sponsored by Eunice Hair. They sent me some bundles to make a wig with and I sort of did it. So here it is, here's the wig that I made, it doesn't really look like a lot right now, sorry. Um, but yeah, here it is. I, I made this. Um, it's definitely not perfect, but that is okay because, you know, it's my first time making a wig. It is a lace front. This is the frontal human hair wig that I made out of Brazilian straight hair. The frontal and the first bundle was 14 inches long, and then the rest of the hair, or the other two bundles, was 16 inches long. Or I guess it is. It is, you know, they still exist. They're just a wig now. <laughs> I'll put it on to show you guys in a second, and of course it is part of the get ready with me today. But for the most part it was successful, but like I said, it's not perfect. However, it was definitely a brand new experience, definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone with wigs. It was very fun to learn how to do, and I watched so many hours of tutorials on YouTube on how to make a wig. So I'll leave those down below if you are curious about the process of making a wig, especially because this video is not going to be about that specifically. I did film that process of me making the wig, so if you would like to see it, let me know and I can splice together a little video of it. So then the last way that this video is pushing me out of my comfort zone is that the theme of it is date night and so I went a little bit more girly with the outfit so I will have an outfit to show you at the end this is a full get ready with me but for now I'm going to throw on the wig that I made okay so this is the wig on so I turned up the exposure so that you could actually see the texture of it because I really like the texture of it right now um, I just curled it and like piece it out with my fingers um, a little bit ironic that the last wig that I got I got it curly and then straightened it and now this one I got it straight and I curled it but oh well <laughs> and now we're back I honestly didn't think that I could do it but I did it it could be better it's a little bit big it doesn't quite fit my head perfectly but that's why I have an elastic band in the back but yeah so first step of the get ready with me is complete just throw it on good to go and now we can start doing makeup so I'm going to start off with my face first. I'm going to prime using whatever the fuck this is. Just keep that in mind throughout this video that I'm not good at makeup, I don't do makeup, and you can basically assume that I just learned how to do makeup within the last six months because that's kind of where my skill level is at. That's where we're at, okay? <laughs> and also a lot of what I'm using, I'm using a lot of drugstore products just because that is what I can afford, and I think that was way too much primer. I not good at this but yeah I can't really afford to spend money on makeup because I don't know how to use it and I don't use it that often so just bear with me with my products don't judge me on the brands that I have and the products that I have just because I, ca I can afford essence level <laughs> I do have some NYX products that's like the nicest stuff oh I have some Mac that my aunt gave me I do have some nicer stuff and that's mainly because I bought it for the Instagram model transformation video so that's also kind of why I wanted to do this in the spirit of not just buying something once to use one time in a video and I also was like practicing and watching a lot of videos and trying to learn and so that's also why I'm here today doing a get ready with me for you. <laughs> but next up, I'm gonna go in with my foundation and I'm just going to apply it with this brush. I'm not gonna get too technical with you guys in this get ready with me because a lot of this, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of following the steps that I see in videos. <laughs> so if I don't tell you what brush I used or whatever, then that's why. I'm starting to blush because I'm nervous about this, so I'm glad that I'm doing foundation first. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit on a damp beauty blender, sponge, not beauty blender. Also, I know that it would have been easier to do this uh, with the wig off, but 
I am stubborn and I like the wig and I wanted to put it on for the video and so that's what we're doing. Next, I'm going to take the NYX Wonder Stick in the shade Universal. No, but no, the shade Light Slash Medium. <laughs> I actually got this for the Instagram model transformation, but I ended up using the NYX Pro Palette instead. Since then, I've actually been using this more. I've used it a couple times since, just because it's way fucking easier than a whole ass contour palette. I don't need to conceal anything, in my personal opinion. Um, I just like to use it because people on the internet say so, so. That's what we're doing. Also, I think it looks kind of nice. I don't know. I used to be very like, I want one shade on my whole face, but now I'm kind of like, oh, it is kind of nice if you have like brightness under the eyes and shit like that. So that's what we're gonna do. It's starting to look a little bit more different between my foundation and my um, concealer in the mirror. It doesn't look as big of a difference, but in the viewfinder, it does. So that's cool. So I might put a little bit of my foundation back on over this because I want you guys to see what I see. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like it looks a little bit weird. I don't know. But also, all makeup looks weird to me, so... <laughs> Did I put on too much? Probably. Let's try this. Just gonna... Take some of it off. It looks a little bit better on camera, but not a ton. I'm also starting to blush underneath, so... It's a, it's a party, man. It's a big party. I have also been adding a little bit of the Wonder Stick as um, cheek contour. I still am very uh, beginner with contour, and so I'm not trying to stray too far across the face with it. Well, something's there. <laughs> That's how I always feel. Like, I can never tell, does it look good? I don't know, but something's there, so. Is it my shade? Who knows? Next, I'm going to prime my eyes with, I'm actually going to use the NYX Pro Palette, and I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna take it on my finger. I'm um, just gonna kind of swirl it in here, and we're just gonna go, just gonna go for it. Like that. Just gonna get it all up in there. I see people use concealer as eye primer. Um, so that's, that's what I'm doing. So next what I'm gonna do is something that I've seen Samantha Rappendahl talk about. She's somebody I've started watching a lot recently as I've been getting into makeup. Um, and the eye look I'm going to do is loosely based off of a look that she did, which I'll mention later, but she says to set your eye primer with powder, but also she sometimes uses just like a base um, transition shade. <laughs> Trying so hard to recall from my memory what the fuck any of this is, but what I'm gonna do, I have this W7 In The Night palette I'm going to be using this shade right here with this fluffy brush and I'm just going to put it all fucking over the whole ass eye lid. <laughs> also I don't know why but that little bump underneath my eye has like collected so much concealer and is just hanging out. I don't know. This is why I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone and doing this for you guys. For everybody who has asked for a get ready with me, I know you probably wanted something a little bit more ravey with a, with a little bit 
more out there look and outfit. But this is what you're getting because this is what I could bring myself to do. <laughs> and this is already looking different from last night when I tried it and so I'm worried that it's gonna look really bad. But that's okay, I'm gonna push myself but we're gonna do it. Even if it looks bad, I'm gonna do it, we're gonna post it, we're gonna make this video, it's gonna happen. Next up, we're gonna do eyebrows and if you can tell they're not really done. I need to go get them done, but I spent my monthly eyebrow budget on a titanium festival ticket, so I will be getting my brows done next month. But luckily, in the meantime, I actually have a pro brow powder pencil from Mrs. Highbrow. This is uh, the place where I went to go get them done in the Instagram model transformation video. When I went in the next time, they gave me this to help me in between eyebrow appointments. So I'm just gonna start with the little spoolie end and kind of brush out my eyebrows cause that's what people do on the internet. <laughs> I've actually never really used pencils for my eyebrows before, um, but I, I had this like pen that I used to use that's probably in my last Get Ready With Me that I loved so much, but it's kind of the same concept, right? I think it's the same concept, so we're just gonna we're gonna do it, and if it looks bad, then who expected any better? <laughs> okay, well, I don't want to go too far, and that looks like I did something. It's definitely not as good as if I would have gotten them done again, but oh well. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the other one, and then we'll come back and see what's next. So next I'm gonna do eyes, and this is where I was slightly inspired by a Samantha Ravindahl video. I was watching this last night while I was trying to think of what I was gonna do for this today, and so I was sort of following along the eye look that she did for this, but as you'll see it is a little bit different. So now that we're gonna be doing the eyes more, I will zoom you guys in even more. I'm gonna take this bottom one, I don't know the name of it, um, Ginger Snap. Take it onto my brush and try to remember what I did yesterday, like I keep talking about. What did I do? Okay. Oh, in the crease. I remember. It goes in the crease. I'm so glad I remembered. So next I'm going to go back to my W7 palette. I'm going to take this shade with this brush and I'm gonna go into the outer V and kind of into the crease to kind of define that a little bit. Is that, is that what people say? Is that, does that sound makeup-y to you guys? So next I'm gonna go back in with our first color off this MAC palette and just kinda sweep it on top and underneath. And the last step for the eyeshadow is I'm going to take this single shadow from Essence, it's in the shade Cotton Candy, if you're curious. Looks way more white than I'd want it to. Then I'm gonna take this more fluffier brush and kind of blend over it, I think, a little bit. I don't know. This looked better yesterday. And I'm also going to go back in with our darker shade and just fuck it up, probably. That's probably what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay, well at this point, this was kind of my idea for the eyes. Um, I know, it's not much to write home about, but I did it. I did it myself, and this is better than I can usually do, so. I think I am going to put some liner on my waterline and maybe the top one too. Um, and then I think I'll just use some mascara. I'm going to use Scandalize for my top lashes, I'm going to use W7 Queen B for my lower lashes, and I will meet you guys when I'm done. Okay, so I think that is it for the eyes. Um, I'm too scared to do eyeliner at this point. Um, I wasn't originally planning to do liner with this look, and I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> So 
So I'm gonna zoom you guys back out for the last steps, maybe not that far. Next, I'm going to do highlighter, and I'm gonna do liquid highlighter. So if you're wondering why I didn't put any powder down on my face yet, it's because I'm gonna use a liquid highlighter. And I'm honestly maybe not going to do any powder for this look because this is a YouTube video. I'm a YouTuber, and I don't have a date tonight, even though I'm calling this or theming this date night get ready with me and I'm probably just gonna stay at home. So I'm not gonna powder my face for this. Hopefully everybody's okay with that because I just, at this point, say so. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take one tiny drop right there. Then I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of go over it a little bit kind of blend out the edges i want to do a little bit more of an intense highlight for fun because when the fuck else am i gonna wear highlighter and of course when you look kind of straight on it's not as noticeable it's only when you kind of turn i think that's how you do highlighter i mean kind of dot it on my nose because I see people on the internet do that. I saw somebody one time put it like right here. So we're gonna try that. Was it Alyssa Ashley? Who like put some highlighter right there. It was like really cute. It's a lot. Oh, you know, just the day in the life of somebody who doesn't know how to apply highlighter, just putting it all fucking over. Is this correct? Who knows? Comment down below if I did highlighter correctly. <laughs> but be nice about it. So we're almost done. I'm just gonna do lips next. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I don't have a lip liner for the color that I wanna use. I thought that I did, but I couldn't find it. Um, so I'm gonna try to like block out the edges of my lips. I know I just put liquid highlighter on my cupid's bow, but I think I'm gonna take this super pinky pale shade right there and just try to try to fuck it up. So I'm just gonna put it like all over my lips and I'm gonna take a little bit of foundation I think and then blend it into the skin around my lips if that makes sense. I didn't need to put it all over but look at how funny this looks so I wanted us to enjoy this together. I actually similar to Samantha Ravindahl, loved concealer lips back in the day, but I didn't know that's what it was. Um, I had my only lipstick, only lip product besides chapstick was a MAC lipstick that is still in my collection, but it's like deep in my closet. And I loved that shit. It's just, it was like the closest to concealer that I could have gotten in a lipstick tube. I bought it on eBay because you couldn't buy it in store anymore. Yeah, I would have just worn this probably. I mean, not just Miranda Sings style all around my lips, but I was I was into the really pale concealer lip thing back in high school, so fun fact for you. I'll try to find a photo and I'll put it on screen while I fix this. There we go. What did you think of uh the only lip look I would do besides black lipstick, and I really wouldn't even do that. That's what I would do in high school. I don't think I would wear it like anywhere. So I'm gonna do is like I said, I don't have a lip liner, but that's gonna work for us. We want that in this look. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna take it on the kind of inside of my lips, and then I'm going to take a brush and bring it out to the rest of my lips. You'll see. doesn't look correct. Definitely doesn't look correct because of that. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be darker. Oh, mistakes were made. I kind of don't want, I don't want like a line of color, even though that's what your, like, your lips are supposed to be. This is what happens when you can't find your matching lip liner, is you pretend like your lips aren't supposed to have lines. So I'm going to take this NYX lip lingerie something, lip gloss, what the fuck shimmer 
yes, that's what it is in clear. I also bought this for the Instagram model transformation. I didn't end up using this one, so I wanted to use it for this. I've never been a lip gloss person, but today I am. Ooh, look at that. Okay, okay, I think that's it now. Yes, good. Wow, for once it looks better on camera, as opposed to in the mirror. Okay, okay, I think that's it, wow. So yeah, definitely a little bit more of a frosted look, a little bit more 90s, I guess. Um, maybe early 2000s than I was originally intending. Oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna put more highlighter. Hold on, very last step that I almost forgot. A little bit of highlighter on the cupid's bow. Let's see if I could do this without fucking anything up. Probably not, but we're gonna try. Did I do it? I think I kinda did it. Okay. I think hands off. I think I'm hands off. I think I'm done. Wow. <laughs> so this is the finished makeup look. Not too bad. Wow, I did a pretty much full face of makeup. And it wasn't that bad. I did it. <laughs> That's also what today was about, you know, getting myself out of my comfort zone so that I could do it and not have it be this huge thing in my head. Like the Instagram model transformation was like this huge thing in my head. I put so much pressure on myself and that's why it was out months late. And so it was nice to be able to sit down and do something kind of just for fun and just to show myself that it can, that it doesn't have to be that scary and that you can be uncomfortable and still have a good time and still learn some stuff. So hopefully you guys learned some stuff too. Yeah, so this is, this is my uh, date night get ready with me look. Like I said, I was inspired by the way that Samantha Ravendahl did her, was it autumn vampy look? And that's also what I was going for anyway, which was, you know, something a little bit dark, a little bit vampy, a little bit sultry, all that fun stuff that you like to have on a date. Like I said, unfortunately, I don't have a date tonight, but that's a-okay because I'm gonna get dressed up anyway because dressing up is fun. Okay, so now that the hair and the makeup is all done, then I can show you guys the dresses that I picked from and then the final outfit that I have for this look. to not go on a date, but to just do something fun with you guys. So I hope that you liked it. I hope that you did have some fun. I know that I did. This was a nice change of pace for me. So let me know if you would like to see more videos like this. If you'd like to know anything about this wig and the hair that I used to make it, any of the products that I used for my makeup look, 
or about any of the clothes, you can find all of that information in the description. A huge thank you again goes to Eunice Hair for sponsoring this video and for sending me the hair to make this wig out of. Yeah, that was a sentence. And also thank you to Dress Lily for sending me the clothing items for my date night. I feel so cute in this dress and I super loved the other black ones that I got. As for the rest of them, maybe if I want to get out of my comfort zone again someday, but I'll probably just give them to my friends. So yeah, I think that just about wraps up this get ready with me. Like I said, I hope you guys liked it, but either way, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!